All righty, welcome back. We're at it again. We've got one piece put in. I'm very happy with it. Very happy with it. I took some time after the video and welded it up. Um, you can see on, you can see this piece here that's been welded. It's welded just like that. Uh, I was going to finish grinding it and join the producer of her. I said, no, don't do that because we want to show what it could look like and what it looks like now. Very good idea. That's why I stuck with Jolene's idea. But what I did is I ground that off. I ground it off with a hard disk first. I started that with a hard disk. I did not finish it. And then I finished it off with a, with a flapper wheel. And I'm going to show you the two wheels that I did it with. I did it with a flapper wheel. I did a flapper wheel on the, on the end, and then I did a hard disc first just to knock this off, um, just to knock that off a little bit, and then I went with a flapper wheel. That's how I got that down, and that's how I got it to look the way I got it to look, like it looks like it's, you know, it's not been welded. And the reason I, I got, knocked it down that far, because I did not feel bad about grinding it off, because we had the exhaust pipe underneath there. Uh, it's butted up here, and it's underneath on here so we're going to have to put a little well it's going to have to be filled out we all know once you weld a car up then it goes to the body shop if you do not know that i just told you once it's welded up it goes to the body shop but that's what it looks like when i welded up i welded it up from the exhaust pipe there's a big gap in there uh, Jolene's going to show you on the other side Jolene's going to do a little bit because why not because Jolene's amazing, and I think she can do just as good a job as I can, and we want to prove it out there that she could, if she wanted to, she could do just as good a job as I can with a little bit of practice. But the exhaust pipe that I put in there, from what I understand, Jolene, a lot of people are thinking that we're going to run my exhaust through the exhaust pipe. No. <laughs> That's, the exhaust pipe is for shape. On this part where the exhaust pipe is, it's for sh shape and strength, to be honest with you. I've got I to weld this metal to something. You know, I, I, it'd be pretty hard to push the quarter panel in and weld this together and not have nothing in there to keep my shape. So the exhaust pipe is in there for shape and structural value, not for the exhaust to run through. Also, the exhaust pipe is round, and where, I, where, where I'm going to knock this down, I'm going to put filler on top of that. Filler on top of that and smooth that off so you can't tell. I'm very happy with ha what happened yesterday. Um, yesterday, when I was wheeling it, you know, when when you get doing that sort of stuff and you're not doing it all the time, uh, it takes time. And for me to get that done within the hour to show us what it looked like, very happy that it worked out when I flipped it upside down and it worked because, you know, I, I could spend hours, I could spend a day on that if, you know, I could spend a day on it trying to get it to work and to get it to fit and that sort of stuff. But when I locked it down at the end of the video, it was good. And I'm going to show you why I think it's good. <clears throat> when I put it underneath there, th that's telling me what filler would, would need to be used on that. You know, that's basically what I'm saying there. Nothing's been warped up. Everything's been welded on nice and right. Um, we've got nothing going on there. I'm very happy with it. Very happy with it. So now what I have to do is I have to repeat and do it to the other side. And I'm going to take from what I did yesterday and apply it to what I'm going to do today. Uh, but first, we're going to go to the other side and we're going to show the gap that was here because there was quite a gap here. All the way along there was quite a gap. I don't know if you remember or not, when I cut that, there was quite a gap there. But I had to weld it up like this to get it look like this. So when you think that something looks like poop, well, yes, it does look like poop until you're finished. You know, you have to finish it. I mean, it takes time to finish it. But anyways, as I welded that up, if you, if you can remember, I would not want to weld this piece here. I've done it too many times to know not to do that. I've welded one piece and have a gap and then weld the other piece. And then, then you grind it off. Then you got a hole in the center. It does not look that good. So generally when I weld something up like this, I'll just weld it together. It's a, it's a little bit more welding. Yes, it is. But it does such a nicer job compared to, you know, if I left it two lines. So we're going to go to the other side, and I'm going to show you exactly what's going on. And then Jolene's going to pass me the camera, and she's going to do it. So there, there's the gap that we got going on. Uh, it's quite a gap. Yes, it is. But let's go back over the other side. With a little bit of a little bit of welding, a little bit of whatever, it can make it look like that. And when we go back over, I'll show you why we got the exhaust pipe in there, or why I use it. 
You use whatever you like to use. I'm just showing a method that I'm using. You take from what I'm doing and you, you make it better or you make it faster or you do whatever you want with it. You can throw it in the garbage if you want to. But as I'm doing this, that exhaust pipe in there is in there for shape. That's what it's in there for. It's round. Um, this piece is rolled down tight. This piece is rolled tight. It's not tight together. No, it's not. In the perfect world, that would have been an eighth apart. And then you weld it right down the seam and been done with it. As I've cut the quarter panel, that I've run the zip cut through it first, or run the zip, run it, run this piece on, push this piece on, overlap this piece, and then the piece I've overlapped, I run the zip cut with that piece, and then I cut the piece from behind it. So when it falls off, now I got a, a zip, a perfect place to butt weld it. Well, on on this part, I've made the exhaust pipe in there so I can get that shape. And when we weld it up like the other side, then I can grind it off and make it look like the panel on the other side. You can see the difference on this panel, how flat this is, how flat this is compared to the panel over there. Now, if I went and tried to, you know, fill it out, um, I'm going to use less filler on this one than I am this one. And that's basically the reason why I got the wheel going is to... Or that's why Jolene, the amazing lady I have <laughs> in my life, um, decided that she let's go to, let's go buy a wheel. So now that I have this shape here, I'm using less filler than if I would have used this shape. And also, there's been comment. I could have put I could have put another brace in here like that. I could have stuck another one in here like that. Yes, I could have. But there is a point in time when you want, grab a few more tools and go forward, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to wheel with some different wheels on it. And now we've got it. I'll use it a lot more. Yes, I will. Um, as I get going on this car, this car is going to be quite nice, actually. There's, there's not much filler going to be used on this. Uh, you know, you have to, you know, we'll have to fill the welds out, but the car is in, is in really good shape. No, nothing is getting, nothing is getting war warped up or oil canned or anything like that. It's really tight and right. I'm going to pull the welder around. Jolene's going to do a little bit of welding on this here just to show you what, uh, what I did. And so she can learn. She wants to know. She wasn't here. <laughs> she was working. <laughs> but I'm going to pull the welder around, and we'll do a little bit of welding on that. Then we'll knock that off, and we'll put a little bit of shape in it to make it look like that. I'm going to just pull the welder around for her. I'm hoping that we have enough gas for you to, to uh, do what you got to do. I'm sure we do. I uh, ordered a couple, a couple tanks yesterday, so we should be good. We're storming here in Nova Scotia right now. And... Uh, Jolene will take you to the door and show you the outside while I set up the welder. Uh, it's storming here. It's Saturday. It's storming outside. Um, it's a good day to be inside. Welding on an old car, that's what it is. It's a great day to be inside. It's a great day. It's a beautiful day. Especially to be welding on an old car. Nobody wants to use the washer when it's storming out like that. <laughs> that's for sure. Because you have to go outside. Come here, Fiend. Come on. Fina must think it's time for her to go out and check things out, is it? Yeah. Alrighty. I'm getting the cord undone here. I'm going to use the cord anyway, so I'll just get it undone. Don't know what I'm doing here for a second. I think I got her. I think I got her. In the back of the door here, Jolene, go to the back window while I get this set up for you, baby. The back window, you can see all the how much snow we do have. Uh, the old four-door that we made started to make it into another Bugatti, like a, another Hot Wheels car that we really enjoy. It's fun to, yeah, it's fun to actually think about the Hot Wheels I had as a young person and uh, make them come alive. Make them come alive for me and Jolene. And that's basically what I'm doing. I'm living off of dreams that I had, or, you know, dreams I had when I was a young person about Hot Wheels cars that I used to play with and have fun with. And uh, it's, quite, it's quite fun, you know. I never thought in all my time that um, I would grow up and build cars. You know, when I was younger, I was, I was a hockey player, a basketball player, uh, a sports person. I like to box. I like that sort of stuff. Um, I liked all the sports is what I did. Never thought about cars until I got of age. And uh, when I've got of age, and that's where it was at. Have a hot rod, right? Have a hot rod. <laughs> and um, when, when I started building cars, I got respect from a lot of people that I never knew that I could have respect from. 
just because of the cars that I was building. It was fun to gain respect. And uh, the way you get respect is give respect. That's how you get it. That's the only way you get it. You're not going to get respect if you don't give it. All right, baby, I'm going to turn you on. I'm going to turn the welder on. I'm going to open the tank up for you. I'm going to open up it all the way so it does not leak. Just that's a couple tips that people have been giving me, and I'm going to use it because it's a simple thing to do is open it all the way. What do you want, sweetheart? I need my gloves over there. You need your gloves. You're going to need more than your gloves. you got a helmet over there and that sort of stuff? Yep. So Jolene's going to do a little bit of welding on this piece right here. I'm going to take over the camera. And basically what, what I'm going to ask of Jolene is, I'm going to clean that off for you a little bit so you can get a little nice, better weld. Okay. Just clean it off. But I'm going to ask Jolene to go <clears throat> start on the exhaust pipe. She's going to run it up to this piece of metal and then run it back down to this piece of metal. We're going to move six inches away. We're going to run from middle of the exhaust pipe up to this piece and, and grab the weld on that one come back to this one and then we'll just do it there six inches away i might give her a little bit of air i'm going to turn on the air i'm going to clean that off for you stick with me stick with me i got my clickers on today we've uh we've picked up or dane has picked up picked us up a transmission for the LS engine, we, he wanted a different transmission to get it going, so we've picked up, picked up a transmission. Uh, we've also bought some steel because I'm going to build a table for Jolene's car. Uh, it, it's hard, it's hard because we'd li I like to take it out and get it on the hoist, pick it up, and put it on this new table so I can get up through the tunnel. I want to weld up through the tunnel where I haven't got yet on her car. I would like to do that, but it's hard. We're, we're, we're so filled up with snow. It's like that every year here. Um, I think that uh, when winter comes, it places all the snow here just to try to slow us down. <laughs> and, and that's what I think. We got a path dug out from the 47 out there. I said we, we have a 47 Ford four door that I cut the window out of that time. I don't, for the newcomers that ever, that's never been here, uh, I was out there and I cut the window out of a 47 Ford to put and try to put back a Elvis. It did not, uh, did not work there or did not live there. We used something different. But uh, now the path is covered in again, and you can see the snow at the front of the 34 there. It's three or four feet deep, easily, and uh, it's just hard. I, can't, I don't even think we could push the car back outside if we wanted to. <laughs> but uh, that's just telling us to keep on going. Just going to knock off some... Off the paint off for Jolene. I'm leaving the tape on that piece. We're going to take that piece off and do a little bit with it here after a bit. I'm going to get her the air because if I'm going to get her the air because if we start getting any heat at all, then we want to have air there to cool it down. Um, anytime that you're welding a panel on a car, have the air there to cool it down. And, and if, you, if you don't, well, you're fooling yourself because. There's heat, there's heat there, and uh, you do not want to warp your panels up. If you, do not have a if you have a chance not to warp something up, why would you not? So basically, that's where I'm at. I always, always try to have the air there. If I do not have the air there, then I'm, I'm generally running for it. And then what I mean by running for it is I go get it after I've figured out that I've got the panel too hot, and I want to get it cooled down. should always have the air with you. Also, to shrink metal right there, get it hot, and use the air to cool it down. You know, splashing water all over your car, that's, that's for back in 1955. <laughs> Whatever, it's not even back for 1955. It's just a smarter choice to grab the air um, to cool something down than water. It's just a smarter choice, especially when we're working with metal and bare metal and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I've got the air hooked up for you. I've got the welder hooked up for you. Haven't got the ground on for you yet, though. Man, I'm setting you up, baby. I'm setting you up. I want to thank everybody for voting for Jolene on the Jatter Setter thing there. Man, I have to thank you because there's, there's a lot of support out there for Jolene, and I appreciate it. And I know she appreciates it. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so this is what I want you to do, Jolene. I want you to start in the center. 
run it up to the metal and then run it all the way back down. Move six inches, run it all the way up, run it all the way back down, and then we'll see how you do. Well, maybe we'll do, we'll do one, two, three, four. We'll grab the air and just blow it off a little bit, make sure there's no heat up in this part. Because that's a big piece of metal there. We would not want to warp that, and we definitely do not want to warp the new piece that we're going to go for. I'm going to take over the camera and see how steady I can hold this bad boy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't get sick. <laughs> All right, there's the jet setter. <laughs> Give him a big thank you, Jolene. Thank you, guys. I appreciate all the boats. Awesome. It's going good. Going good? Yeah, it is. Good. So okay. basically what we're going to do is there's quite a gap in there. And uh, Jolene's going to take the welder and run it back and forth and show you exactly what we're talking about. And she's got the air. She's dressed for Miss Lincoln today. She's got her red and black gloves on, her red and black top and pants on. Okay. And uh, just for the women out there that want to get into the hobby. And you'll find that the exhaust pipe, when she's welding that exhaust pipe, you'll hear it spitting and splattering, but the spitting and splattering from the zinc on the exhaust pipe itself. You probably could you probably could clean it off of the grinder, but we're welding it. We don't care. I'll get closer with the camera after Jolene gets her welds on there. And then what will happen is we'll check out and see what's going on. Jolene's listening to directions, you know that? Because she's looking how many times she's welded up the <laughs> panel. Know, and, and then uh, that's fine. You're doing good. Now she blows each one off, you're just going to make sure nothing's too hot, you know? That's the basis of it right there. If you had a bigger area, like where the panel that we're going to, the panel that we're going to weld on or, or roll in the back, if you were welding that up, you'd move down along there and put some more weld on. But we're not doing that right now. Do you want me to You can go in between each one. Okay. That'd be great. And then I'm going to, after you do this one, I'm going to move in and show the camera. I don't know how to focus it in tight. I don't know how to focus it in tight like you did. Jolene's good on the camera. So I don't know the thing she does. But. I'm gonna just move the cam I'm just gonna come in with the camera a little bit and sit show exactly what's going on. Now she's got that well going from panel to panel. And that's how we weld that up, so we can grind that off. I know it's I know it's more welding, but you've seen the outcome on the other side, and that's what we do to make it look right. Um, if you weld it two strip, you could put a strip down there, but you're going to you're going to end up welding two strip two lines down there. So why not just weld it once and be done with it? You can notice how Jolene went in between each one. She's not going to weld right on top of the other one. And the exhaust pipe is not for exhaust, it's for shape and strength. Uh, I use a lot of exhaust pipes for, for that and it's shape. Just going to get the heat on. We know heat rises, so we want to put the heat on top of the panel, more or less, if, if you know what I'm saying, Jolene. It wants to be on top of the weld because the heat's going up. The quarter panel wouldn't get much heat from that. It's the top piece going ab above the package tray is where the heat would be going. So you want to place that cool air up above there on top of that. I what I suggest after welding that is to take the glove off, rub your hand along there, and see if you've got any major heat going on. Nope. Any major heat? Nope. No major heat. Then hands would, <laughs> man, them hands with no heat. <laughs> No heat going on, so we just continue on and uh, run in between each one of those until we get it close enough that we can connect them. Okay, but keep going. Just six, six inches, inches. Okay. just six inches apart. You exactly. So now you wouldn't you wouldn't do in between each one that you got going on now. She's going to move six inches and go in between that one. Yeah. So it's just kind of keeping the distance for the heat at all times is the idea of the situation. 
Once, once, you, once you warp something, uh, once you, whatever, you warp it, oil can, or whatever you want to call it, and what I mean by that is distort the metal so there's no tension there, you, 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 you might as well say that someone has jumped on the back of the car and you've got to fix it. That's basically what's going on. So if you do not pay attention to your heat, you can actually destroy something that you're fixing. And to destroy something that you're spending time to fix means you're going backwards. And uh, to go backwards, um, it's just like making the wrong decision in life, going backwards. It sucks. That's what, that's what it is, to be honest with you, it sucks. Sometimes it'll spit on you, all the old exhaust pipe. I'm going to move in here close for a second, Jolene, just take a look yep. to see what we got going on. You can see what she got going on. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so just keep going like that. And then when I went back at the weld, I would go in between the, the places where the welds are the furthest <gasps> apart. So for, for me, if I was going back and welding, I'd go back there. Yep. And then if I was going welding, I'd go up in there. And then up in there. Exactly. That's where, that's where there's no weld, so that's where there would be no heat. Makes sense to me. Also, keep that wire in the middle of the puddle. If you have to go a little bit slower, that means you have to go a little bit slower. That's basically it. Mm -hmm. I get some air on that. We'll run it on top of the package tray. Get on top of the package tray. There you go, up there. That's where the heat's going, up there. We don't want to go up there. The heat going up there. Once that package tray piece gets, gets oil canned, you've just destroyed what we've done, and uh, we don't want to do that. I'm just going to feel it. Let's take your hand and feel it. A little it's bit of heat? Just barely warm. Barely, barely warm. And the, reason, and the reason we know whether the heat's okay is because you know a hot car in the summertime, it'll burn you when you put your arm on a black car. It does not warp, so you know that you know the temperature that you can run without without burning the car up or without warping something. I'll just do one more. So and, then, and then we'll get on to the panel. Yeah. So Jolene's gonna run one more, six inches away. Beautiful. You are Jolene. <laughs> That's good enough. Yeah, Let's put some air on that. Pull that off. <laughs> and the air is just to keep the, the heat down, you know. And then I'm... <laughs> now also, Jolene's probably going to pass the, camera, pass the camera back over to her. Also, as, as Jolene's doing this, how I would how I would take the air out of the situation, you know, the air takes time to grab that air every time, and then apply it to uh, what you're doing. Um, what I would do, we got a, we got a line. All right, I'll give that to you. Good job, Jolene. Thank you. So that's basically what I would do to get that put together. That's basically that, that is that is what I would do to get that together. There's a little bit of heat going on there. That's that's fine. Not burning me whatsoever. When I got going on this in here, see, I'd find places like this where it's zip cut of here. Then I would do that. Instead of doing the air every six I'd go pop, 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 and do that. And then I might move over here, pop, 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 and do that. Uh, we've got, I've got all this welded up on this part. I've got that all welded. We got a piece put in there exactly like the other place. It just covered it up for the show where the incisions are. But basically, that's what you do. You just find another place to take off. This has to be welded up. So if you weld it, say, every six inches on this, then you could carry on up there, up here through here. And then by the time you get this done, you can go back to there. That's how you get a car welded up in, in quick amount of time. That's how you do it. Let's pull this bad boy off. And the reason I left this like this, because we're doing it together. And that's what I'm showing you, us doing it together. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm going to get the other grinder to take that off. We'll need the zip cut. Not sure if I'll get the panel completely done or we'll just, huh. 
I'll just go for it, won't we, baby? Mm -hmm. Good job, Jolene. Thank you. Good job. Under pressure! I didn't draw my place. I basically know where I want my, my shape. Basically know where I want my shape, but I want to draw it on there before I take it off. Need a marker. And I'm gonna start with the exact same die as I did last time, I am. And uh, the reason being is, because it worked out fine with this piece on this side. Um, but I'm going to, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna back off earlier. Also, there was some good comments, maybe I'm going to run, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll just do it again, we'll do it again, basically that's the spot of the shape that we need, it's blowing out really hard today, and uh, it's nice to be in the garage, so let me see, so I think there's been questions, we heat the place with this right here, it's an electric boiler, and uh, we have, it's got a water system. The water system is filled. There's pipes running in the floor. The, the has a little tiny uh, vibrating pump in it, which pumps the water through. And this electric boiler comes on. It's not on right this minute, but it heats the water and the, all our heat comes from the floor. I bet you'll never guess. It costs money. <laughs> Done it, baby. Oh, yeah. It costs money. Everything costs money nowadays, don't it? Huh? Everything. Now, on this piece, on this piece, I got that square or that angle iron I put in there, and I got, I got to weld that right to that angle iron. On the center here, it's not fitting perfectly either, but you know exactly what's going to happen when I go to weld it up. I'm going to fill it in with weld, so this one has to be turned down on this side. We had to turn the one down on the other side, so I'm going to turn this one down on this side a little bit. It's up a little bit. I'm going to turn it down. I've got to take it off. It's turned up a little bit. I shaved that edge, tried to get it, but it just, it just didn't get it. Off, off, spot weld. Scare me. I'm just going to take a pair of, I need to use the washroom. Oh, no. Damn it. I don't want to stand outside. No, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm at the point in my life where I can't hold it that well. Hard to believe I know, but it's true. Hard to believe I know. Basically. I'm going to turn the welder on. I think I got it. I think I got it. I ain't got a helmet on. I think that held it. I 
It's just going to say. Hmm, I wonder if I should hold it down a little bit more. Like they say, just a little bit. on the right on the edge of no I don't want to take off if you know what I'm trying to tell you okay that just come off I'm gonna knock that on there right at the edge with the metal on right there, that's all. I don't want it to, I didn't get you a hammer, did I? That's, I want that up a little bit there. Being fussy. Weld that on before it takes off. My helmet. Weld this on here. Right. Zung it on there because that is not going to warp anything. metal up there a little higher. Didn't want to lay down underneath, that's all. Got air. Grab the different grinder and shut the welder off for a second. Ooh, in tight quarters here. So what's going on there? That when I pulled that down, it pulled this away from this metal, and I just didn't want this piece to fall down below our our, our brace. That's all. Now that I have it tacked, so it can't fall down. It's just not straight there, that's all. The cut's not straight, so it might have, might have allowed it to fall down. And I do not want that to happen. I'm just gonna knock this down, that's all. A lot of people concerned about the windows. Windows, if you looked at the door, window rubbers, you would know that the window rubbers are fried and uh, the glass is baked too. We would put new window in it. It's just safety glass. It's just cut a pattern, exact same thing, cut a brand new window piece, you know. All right. Good, no heat, everything's going good. Now let's get to our piece. 
That's what we need to do. We need to get to our piece. Well, no, actually, no. I'm going to knock the edges off this so I don't hurt myself. I don't want to hurt myself. That's for sure. Got lucky yesterday and got that piece put right in. Got lucky yesterday. And uh, you know what Jolene told me? Gotta be good to be lucky. <laughs> I don't know if you can keep them occupied, Jolene, but I've got to go out and use the washroom. I got I got to bear the I got to bear the the cold, and that happens. Jolene made me a coffee this morning. You woke up at seven, looking like at eleven, and the reason being is I got Bailey's in my coffee, <laughs> and I seen her get it a bit. I'll break back. Don't want to, but. Only advice I have for this is not piss into the wind. Back of my head's frozen. <laughs> Stand there for a whiz. All right. I survived. It's a nice day to be in the garage, man. Saturday, me and Jolene hanging out in the garage. You know, just minding their own business, staying in our lane, playing with old cars, man. Basically what we're doing. A pair of my gloves, where they're at. They're right here. So I'm gonna go back to the die that I had the first time. And the reason being, I'm gonna go back to that die because it worked out for me. It worked out for me. And then the back of the car will be will be pretty near completed. And that's that's a good thing. That's a good thing. This car really is turning my crank. And what I mean by turning my crank, it makes me think, wow, this car is gonna look nice. It's gonna look nice. Beautiful. Not as nice as you though, Jolene. Not as nice as you. That's for sure. So that's the die. The third one up is the one I used to, to bring her back around. I'm going back up to number one. The reason being is I want the most shape I can get very first thing. I think this time, I guess this time, what I'm going to try to do is, is I'm going to, um, I'm not going to take it so high so quick. I'm going to wait. It's just like that 40 grit and 80 grit. I got to get it right at the right time to... Here, we'll try that. I gotta get it right at the right point to stop. I want a level thing here because I want that again because I want to see, you know, how, you know, I went like that last time. I had quite a bit. I could tell by that. So I think I'll do that again. I think that was a good trick to do. I don't think it matters from what end I start from. I don't think it matters. Basically rowing it through and then turn it and and what I'm what this is my this is my thought process this time. I'm going to put the shape in the center and then with the other with the other die I'll roll the whole thing. That's that's the plan this time. Sometimes you have to have a method to your madness. And that's my method. That's what I'm thinking. And 
I'm going to check it a few more times before I do that, you know? Um, it wouldn't, it, 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 it matters, you know? If I checked it more, I wouldn't have got such, still flat, you know, it's, we're, we're still flat. We're getting a little bit of there, it's still flat. Lots to go yet. Just being cautious on this piece, just, you know, why not? Why would I not be cautious? And I'm just staying in the concentrated area for now. The other side turned out so good that um, I'm hoping that this side does the same. Julian, I tell you how good you look yet today? <laughs> huh? I think so. You look amazing. How do I know? Because I've seen you. <laughs> Just going to keep checking it. Starting to get a little bit of shape. You can see underneath each side, it's starting to get a little bit of shape I am. So you know and I know, if I'd have started to pound it with that, I'd been in a big issue right from the get-go. I would have had too much right from the get-go. And it was a good thing yesterday where I ran it upside down and bring it back a little bit. What a save. What a save. I don't know if I explained this yet, but I'm just running it through. And then when I get to the end, I'm just turning a little bit and then run it back and then run it straight turning a little bit, run it back, straight back, turn a little bit, and then I run it side to side. Basically all I'm doing there. Knock that off, check it again. I think that was one of my problems yesterday. Went too far. Getting a little bit of shape, see it? Getting a little bit of shape. Doing good so far. And every morning, Jolene gets us a coffee, or I get the coffee. We take turns, you know. Um, let's face it, um, we take turns. I think I got the coffee this morning, did I not? Yeah, you did. I got you two coffees this morning. <laughs> yeah, you did. Huh? Thanks. But anyways, as we do that, we always get Fina a treat, and we all have our treat together. So Jolene has a coffee with Bailey's in it, and I have a coffee with Bailey's in it, and Fina gets to eat a dentist stick. <laughs> we brush our teeth at night, and don't, or Fina brushes her teeth in the morning. <laughs> she sure does wait for them sticks, don't she? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to knock this off. All right, we're getting shape. You can see that we're down probably, you know, an eighth or around an eighth on either side, just a little bit more, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go to the other die. Well, actually, I'm gonna roll this over, and then we'll go to the other die. We'll get a little bit more shape. I had quite a bit yesterday, I remember, if I recall right, I had quite a bit of shape. That's basically where, you know, where you gotta know where you're getting too much shape or not. I'm gonna take it to this end, trying to get this, that roll down with me, I guess. And this, this, this English wheel thing, you know, you can watch me do it. You can watch me do it, but the only way to know how to do it is to do it yourself. You know, grab a piece of metal or grab a wheel and try it. But you know, for one thing for sure, the more contour of the wheel, the more action you're going to get. Just working it back to the other edge. you're going to get. 
Just gonna knock that out, check things over. I don't wanna go too far. Look, got quite a bit there now. You can, they're starting to. Do I, do I keep going with my, I'm gonna turn this around. I'm gonna get a little bit of action down in here. Just gonna keep going a little bit more. Just a little bit. The reason I'm doing this is for less filler. Put a little shape in it for less filler. Now. We've got quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow down on that. Actually I want a little bit here on the end. I didn't get much on the end here. Also, I want it to look like the other side, you know what I mean? That's where it's... I want some on the end here, like we did yesterday. To roll this end over. Yes, it is. All right, do it again. Just a little bit more. I keep saying that, just a little bit more. And sometimes it's just it's just too much. But we know what to do. If it's too much. You know what to do? Flip it over. We've got two go two things going on there. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna check it. So we've got, we've got shape, we've got shape. I'm gonna take this off. Now I'm just hoping that we can get it as nice as the other side. That's all I'm hoping, that the other side's got a nice shape. It has got a nice shape. It's got a lot of jo Jolene in it, how's that? <laughs> I like the new tool. I do. I do. Yeah, I guess we'll try that. I'm just gonna put that down and roll, see if it rolls nice. Rolls good. That's a bit much. thing a little bit. Do I want to get my fingies caught? I let that out. See what's going on here. I'm getting a lot of I'm going to have to roll, I know, I'm going to roll that upside down to get that out of there, you know that. I think I'm going to, I'm going to have to. Got some shape in her. And I'll tell you why, I'm, I think I'm going to roll it upside down because it's getting, it's getting this a lot. And to get that back out, I'll turn it upside down because I did it yesterday.
looking at it. Just laid it down flatter. Still got the shape. Pretty sure. Still got the shape. Still got the shape. Sure do. But you can see how that's less curled up. That's what it did yesterday. And I'm just doing what I did yesterday. To continue on doing what I'm doing today. All right. Now. So I can tack that on there and make that stay. I like just a little bit more on right on this end, I think. I'm going to knock it down a little bit. Just upside down. Cut my head off. Not today I won't. Maybe tomorrow. See how that turned that down? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, got a good looking panel going on there, man. That's a good looking panel. Very happy with that. I'm going to knock off the welds on this. Now, you see where I rolled that. I still have a little cut, cut marks in it a little bit. I feel like cut marks in it where I've taken a lot. I've got 18 gauge, I've got a lot of metal. Shoot me where it's well with though. with that very now I've knocked that on I just adjust it. you want to check my mic I can feel where where the where the sharper wheel has cut that a little bit I can feel it but this is what I'm gonna say I'm going to take, uh, I took that, I can take that flapper wheel and I can knock some of that off because of the thickness of the metal that I'm using. I can keep going and going and going and going and going, yes I can, but I do not feel like it's necessary when I can take a little bit of metal off this. I'm using 18 gauge, this panel is fitting really nice right at the present moment, or I think it is, I think it is. Yeah, and I, I think I want to. I think I want to go with it. So what I'm saying is, is I've got 18 gauge. I've got lots of metal. I've got some shape going. Yeah, it's going good. Going good. Um, more confident today 
than I was yesterday. And yesterday was a new for me. And uh, you've seen how, um, seen how I was wheeling it there and it really got too round for me. So just flip it over, take a little bit out of it, it took a little bit out of it, now I'm able to do what I'm gonna do right now, tack it on. One spot, uh, you can still move it, I keep saying that, and two, it's over. <laughs> I don't want that welder to take off, just throw that on the floor. Now I just want to make sure I've got a line down here that I can gather up. Look at that, beautiful. Well done, Chetty. Man, I'm telling you, I might get hired on somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I'm going to tap that on. Up on that right, that weld right there, got to knock that off. Careful, careful. Knock that off a little bit. Unplugged. Man, I'm happy with that. I guess the old confidence grows, just like anything else. The more you do it, the more, the better you get at it. I'm gonna knock that on, because it... Oh, wow. I'm gonna knock that on there. Very happy, very happy. Okay. A little piece of metal there, I'm laying underneath. Watch your eyes pick you up. A little piece of metal laying underneath there, that's all. And uh, do not want it. Beautiful. Tight and ran. Anything for a hammer. A little tighter, that's all. Couldn't ask him, did it? Man, I pulled a good one off there, boys. I'm telling you, I'm even proud of myself. That's looking good. Looking good. <laughs> mask is down, boy. Mask is down. Keep, <laughs> keep trying to draw that mask down. It's already down. It's good. It's awesome. Now I'll have to fill that full, just like the other spot. Very happy. Even that's tucked down nice. It wasn't tucked down before. Got some shape in it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Awesome. Awesome. This little hammer right here, I like it. It's got a nice, it's got a nice plenishing thing to it. Wow, I just impressed myself, boys. I just impressed myself. Just impressed myself. And the reason I impressed myself because um, I paid attention to what happened last time, and uh, I was able to get a good job. Basically, it's got a nice shape to it. Beautiful. We 
know it's got shape because I showed you with the level. Tight and right. Here we're love or flush. Flush again. Actually, I'm gonna do another spot. A layer on it. It's because I don't want to go anywhere. Well, you know who's going to be in a good mood for the rest of the day. That's me. Went well. Happy with that. Very happy with that. That stuff can take hours and hours and hours, whether you know it or not. hours and we just pulled it off in short amounts of time. Happy. Awesome. And we know we've got shape because I showed you with the level. Awesome. <laughs> yes. I love it. Shape. It was flat before. Got shape. That's what we want. It's shape. No, look up there. Nice, beautiful. Shape. All right. That made me very happy. Now what's got to go on? Very happy. Very, very, very happy. So now what's got to go on is it got to weld up the center, weld down across there. We'll weld up the edges like we showed you before. We've got shape. Very happy with that. Very good. No. Excellent. Um, we, we know how we're going to weld that up. We weld that up. We're going to make it look like this. And uh, yeah, let's give away a hat or a shirt. We've done well. Mm -hmm. No, we've done better than well. That, was, that went really, that went, I'm very happy. So I'm going to be a happy man today. Um, very happy. Don't care what the weather's like. Does not matter. My Jolene's very happy, I think. Mm -hmm. Fina seems to be happy. <laughs> what a great day. Happy, happy, happy. That went so well. So very happy with that. Um, I was expecting to struggle um, just because of, you know, because of not using it full time all the time. Um, I just took what I did yesterday and applied it today, what I did yesterday. And uh, I guess we call that repeat. All right. If you want to vote for Jolene on Jet Setter, we muchly appreciate it. And uh, Jolene appreciates it. She's doing well. It's going to be an ongoing process for a little while, but as long as we keep at it, you know what happens. Bring your business online and start selling it can happen. Online. There's me struggling yesterday. <laughs> huh? And you know what? It's good to struggle because that's... That's, that's the real. When I'm struggling up here and I'm not getting what I need to get done, that's me struggling and that's basically the real deal. Um, and, you know, if you're doing anything, there's always generally a struggle. And uh, the way to get better at it is to keep doing it and keep just watch yourself, keep doing it and keep doing it and repeat, 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 and the better you'll get at it. How many comments we heard? 650. 654 comments. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. 
Anybody takes their time to comment, we know they're watching, so we appreciate your time that you've taken. Frank Augustus, Augustin? Augustini. Frank Augustini. Thanks for commenting, Frank. We appreciate it. Would the wheel be shrinking and stretching or just moving the metal? Does it make the metal warm so it affects the molecules or tin cell strength of the metal? Sorry for so many questions. Looking amazing, just like Jolene. Oh, yeah, I bet you like Jolene. I bet you do, Frank. <laughs> I do, too. Um, I'm going to give you my best answer. Don't know if it's right or not. You know, there's more people that's more professional in that thing than me. I'm no Ron Covell, that's for sure. But what can I say? I would say that the wheel is stretching. That's what the wheel does, stretch. Uh, shrinking is, a, is another matter. Um, when you're applying that wheel against another wheel and putting pressure on it, you are stretching it. Uh, I don't think that the English wheel shrinks. It's all stretch. Um, to shrink something, you have to take, you're more or less taking a metal away or you're making it gather. Um, that thing there is applying pressure on it, it's making go out. So we've taken a flat piece of metal and we've stretched it so we've got shape. So it stretches the metal. Whether, whether it warms or not, well, I guess that's how fast you want to wheel it. <laughs> Um, and it does make the metal stronger because you are applying a shape to it. Um, if you took a flat piece of metal and go, if you took it and put it through the English wheel, and you go to, you see me try to push down on that. A lot of strength there, so it does strengthen it. You're stretching it and strengthening it. You can take, a, imagine a fender on a car. When the die comes down, it's a flat piece of metal. You could take and go. The old turkey talk like a turkey. You could flap it like that. As soon as that die comes down, puts that shape in it, there's strength there. Basically, I hope I answered the question good enough. Frank, you want a hat or shirt of your choice. We appreciate everybody watching. Thanks, everybody, for voting for Jolene on the Jet Setter. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. I can't say it enough. Say you appreciate it, Jolene. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. If we get the weather good enough, I hope, not sure, but I would like to um, get, make a wheel well for the car and show you how we're going to do that. And now that we have the English wheel, when I go to bead roll something, I'm, going to get, I'm not going to take one of the contour wheels. I've got big contour, and I'm going to take one of the flatter wheels, you know, one of the less contour wheels. And wherever I'm going to bead roll it, I'm going to put it through the English wheel because that will stretch it a little bit. And then when I go to put it through the bead roller, it won't make my metal go, you know, turn it all up. You know, if you do a bunch of bead rolling, you'll notice when you bead roll, you stretched it quite a bit and it, it turns the metal, then you got to try to straighten it and put it in place. Well, now that I've got the English wheel, I can, wherever I'm going to do the bead rolling, I can run it through the wheel just a couple times, right? Stretch it a little bit. And then when I put the bead in it, it the metal's already stretched a little bit and it won't have to take away so much from the rest of the panel. Alrighty, everybody, thanks very much, and we'll see you tomorrow.